And yeah. uh, I know for a fact that people nowadays, it doesn't have to be so slick and polished that yeah. uh, like, like, because people are getting fed up of that, of radio shows where there isn't really a presenter there. Um, yeah. And the music just goes one to the other. Um, or there's a presenter there, but they've been told not to speak very much. I think, Scott, we spoke before in the past about radio, and I think the, the thing with radio is it was there yesterday, it's here today, and it's definitely going to be in the future. But how they move radio into the future is exactly what you're saying. We can, it can't be seen as a robot where they're just playing the same stuff, they're not allowed to talk much, uh, because that just becomes like a jukebox. You want to have character, you want to be able to have, like, I think, uh, you know, like local communities with local stations yes. really taking the, the grip and people supporting Well, them. I think national stations, uh, some of the slick ones are working very well. They're getting... Uh, quite big audiences that could be getting a lot more, uh, but the local radio stations that used to have one personality following another, handover chat, all that, they did an amazing business. I mean, they were all, not in the very early days, but late, latterly, they were all self-financing. And then they all got bought up by virtually two big groups. I, I think, Scotty, personally, I, now I don't miss, I, I might, I flick through the channels, so I'm really bad for that when I'm in the radio, ah. but I won't stick with the big radio stations and I won't name them because no. I've got other stations on there that are, more, are a lot more local and smaller, and I would rather give them my business rather than these big companies that are just buying everything up and making it all the same. You can, and you'll know this yourself, Scotty, you could be uh, uh, going down to the borders or down to Kalai or whatever, and it's that same big station except it's, say, Radio uh, radio FM Kalai, I'm just making that up, but it's the same theme music, it's the same everything because they bought that station up. You think this is... It's, there's no individualism. There's not the same personal choice. But that's life, Kareem. I think there's a, a huge movement afoot worldwide to, to get rid of people's personal choice. Yes. You know, here's what you do. You get up in the morning, you do the same things, you buy this, you buy that, you buy the next thing. You don't do this, you don't do that, you don't do the next thing. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh. I, I think, well, Scotty, for example, when you go to work tomorrow in the car and you put on the radio, when it gets to 10 past 8, you can flip through every radio station and it's all the same thing and so on. They're all having a quiz and, like, and people have to jump through hoops to try and win 100. Well, you see, that's another thing that radio stations tend to do. Yeah. If something's successful, the others copy it. Yeah. Now, that yeah. doesn't necessarily, that then takes away the choice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, you say, no, they might be doing a quiz. When you go on there, somebody's reading a funny story. Uh -huh. Somebody's singing a song, whatever. But it's just that choice, and you get known for it. And the reason people tune in to Scotty McClure is because they know there's going to be some quality chat. They know there's going to be some nonsense. They know they're going to get informed and educated and entertained. Oh. Scott, you make it you're on the radio just now, okay? And you you spoke to the producers and you want to do something different because all these other radio stations are making people having to virtually jump through hoops to try and win something. And the majority of the time they don't. But could you imagine that right tonight at the end of the show we're giving away guaranteed this boom and they know you would be, you know, as much as people listen to you, you'd be, wow, get Scott McClure on because it's guaranteed you're going to get something. Kareem, I had the biggest audience, and I was going to say outside London, but in actual fact, we were beating the main London station at nights for audience. Now, I never, ever, ever gave away a bean, a prize, a booby prize, nothing. Okay. You know, nothing. So there was nothing. We never gave away any money, and yet the audience were absolutely through the roof. Mm -hmm. 
And when somebody goes, oh, do you know that there's a, a channel on YouTube and they've got uh, half a million subscribers? I had half a million people. I had a million people very often every night. Yeah. Do you see? So it's really quite interesting that somebody's talking about these kind of figures and go, woo, you know, and you think we got that on local radio. Very, very strange. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's a, a piece of... Different times have moved on. Obviously, but Scotty, you've done that as well, which I find someone uh, at your stage of your career has done some outstanding and to, to, to take on technology and to, to use it uh, and to still... What you say, what you've done when you started radio is you've always said to talk to the people, let the people talk, and you're still doing that through this new technology as you did 30 years ago when you were Scott FM. Right? Let the people talk. I don't think these things change. And I think it's the same thing. Some, you, you know, you're getting a bus. The bus might cost you a little bit more now, and it might be a bit more comfortable, a bit less rough and ready than the old diesel engine buses. But nevertheless, the buses are the buses. You get a bus into town, you get a bus into town. Yeah. 